How's it going today, eh? Welcome to the Bilsif Show. Friggin' right. Just started on a few little things I did. Halloween stuff for the daughter I am. Okay. The daughter wanted to do the Halloween. I didn't have time to do the Halloween. But I figured, what the heck, let's do Halloween. Why wouldn't we? But we're not going extreme this year. Frig no. No extremo on the old halloween -o. Melanie did most of this work because she loves it, eh? That's the only reason I'm doing it. But no haunted house walkthrough this year or nothing. We just kind of filled the gardens and stuff. Creepy crawlers and whatnots and this and that and the other things. So I've just been in the process of wiring up some LED lights. Like if you look at the dudes. If you look down there at that dude. All their eyes light up. Friggin' right they do. There's another guy over there with one eye. Yeah, one eyeball it lights up. He does. It's orange. Jim. So I've just been in the middle of wiring up all these eyeballs. And I'll show them all to you at night because there's a pile of eyeballs. But we gotta still get the air props out. I got out my ghoul that mixes stuff. Okay, I'll show you how that works and how I built that. Actually, I'll show you how I built that right now. Built this thing about three years ago. And if you look under the skirt, she uses a motor with a bunch of PVC. And trust me, boys, it took me a long time to get that figured out. And that's what makes his head go up and down. Also got a power window motor in the bucket and that's what stirs it. So later on today, I'll show you this stuff at night and I'll get the ghoul working so you can see him. I'm not in a rush to edit this one, so this will be continued tonight and I'll show you the eyeballs. Why wouldn't I? I'm just gonna take a little ride here in the old Silverado. Got the old Silverado kind of spooked up right now, hey? Eh? Check it out, boys. Decent. And he's got eyeballs, hey? Eh? Look at him shake. Thing's probably gonna blow right off there and just get cocked all over, but I even get a little doodad whatnot thing about her down there. Why wouldn't I? Got a little hand job on there and a little freaking this and that and the other thing. A little foot ski. What are you doing down there? Get in the truck. But look at the golf cart, boys. Girls, people. So don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button. If you like Halloween. Why wouldn't you? I'm gonna drive Melly around in the golf cart. The big ass skulls on the old golf cart, I do. Put some spider cobwebs on her. Got a spooky dookie mask on her. Check that out. Friggin' decent. I should leave that on there all the time. Yeah, that'll be fun to, uh, hold on, boys. Get y'all zoomed in here. Yeah, that'll be fun to rip around on Halloween night, eh? Take her out for some candy. Why wouldn't we? Decent. Why wouldn't you? That's awesome. Just give it on the smokestack situation, eh? Dang it, right. Yeah, if you're wondering, I went from doing the Halloween stuff to going for a little rip. I wanted to come into town real quick, see if my uh, my dad's around, I do. But, on a better note, still going back to the Halloween. That's still on the antenna, boys. Didn't fall off. Frig no. Friggin' be in here. Get out. She didn't fall off. So, away we friggin' go. There's the old head of roost at 100 kilometers an hour. She turned a little bit. Still holding on, it is. Decent. I, I did lower it on the antenna because I have one of them, uh, the bullet antennas, eh? So I just used, uh, just unscrewed the bullet and put it on the shaft of Ruski. So it worked friggin' decent. Friggin' right it did. Uh, just heading home here. Might get into a little bit more of the Halloween-ish stuff. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> What's really going on? Well, we got about nine hours into the display so far today, and I'll just take you around and show you what I've got done so far. So I got my guy in the can wired. The air is not hooked up to him yet though. So we'll get the air to him here shortly and I'll show you that in another video. We got uh, my guy hanging from the east trough holding the old dude lantern doodad thing of a bobber. We got my stir guy wired, eyeballs on. We just got to get him wired up with the electronics. We've got the coffin guy out and about. Just finished gluing some new eyeballs into him. So we're waiting for that silicone to dry before I can wire him up. We got the head popper guy up. Eyeballs are wired on that one. We've got the goulds in the gardens wired up. Hey, right? look at them boys. Girls, peoples. I already showed you this guy, but there he is again. Got that guy wired up. Oh, have an eye, Jim. That guy's one eyeball wired up. Shut the hell up down there, would you? Shut up. Frick. That guy wired, that guy wired, that guy wired, that guy wired, boys. Mummy in the corner, he's up. Got that guy wired. Get them guys wired eyeballs and stuff. I'll show you this at night. It'll be decent. You get some stuff set up up here on the porch. Hey, we got big guy up there, and that guy's stuck in the bush back there with some lights on him. Uh oh. 
Get some eyeballs dying here. The only other thing we got left to do is go through this box of smoke machines and special effects items and stuff like this, strobe lights. I've got all sorts of stuff in here. I'm freaking ready to do. They even got one of those thunder makers, eh? Thunder makers, boys. Listen to this. Didn't shut something off last year. Frick no. I got probably, I don't know, seven or eight smoke machines and about 20 strobe lights in here and some just stuff upon stuff I do. I got electronical gauges to speed this guy up and slow him down because he goes too fast if I don't if I get carried away. So I'll show you how that stuff works too in the next video. I'm gonna cut this video short. Hopefully I got enough footage here to put something together for you. So you can see how I'm making out over here at the old dirty old Bilsos, eh? Melanie was out here this morning, helped me, but they dished and went to a movie and it gave me some bill time. Friggin' right it did. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am and had a good weekend. And uh, you know what to do for now.